one of the biggest, boldest moves that this blueprint has done is actually locate an element called the frame, the urban frame. And its job has really been about um, compressing and, you know, um, containing the built environment that will be the city centre. What we're proposing to do with the urban frame is really look at new open space, a connected network of open space that is a destination in its own right. We've actually pushed the city back into a smaller city centre that we're going to get more intensity, more footfall, more attractiveness, more higher quality environments. So the central frame really has three key elements for us. Um, they are Park East, so the Eastern Park, and importantly that has a significant natural gateway that's identified um, through the natural poplar trees that are there at the moment. So wonderful gateway if you've come cycling from the eastern suburbs, you know, through the Avon River Park. You know, there is that natural gateway element that drops you down into Park East. And you've got this, this new asset for the city. Um, it's something that will be high value, beautifully designed, and it's really uh, something quite different. We have Hagley Park, which is quite Victorian in its nature, a beautiful asset for the city. Thankfully, that's being um, left and retained, as, as we know the local population would like. But here we're looking at something that is more urban in its nature, in a park sense, um, and it's also, it's, it's sort of absolutely co-located so you can walk out of your office building and potentially out of your new residence in the city centre and drop into this green space. The green frame has been sensitively designed um, to respect the heritage of Latimer Square in its form, its shape, its existing kind of tree, treescape and so on, vegetation. But it also means that Latimer Square can be, you know, through events and so on, can be actually enlarged and actually become more of a destination and a place in itself. So the idea of the frame wasn't to be uh, a sort of a very thin green threshold that you might cross through into the city. It absolutely had to be a destination in its own right. The scale of the park has been carefully crafted, so it's absolutely the right size for Christchurch. It's about walkability. You want something where you can walk through it, you can cycle through it, but it also has enough area that you can kick a football, um, go to the park, go to the playground. You can have some contemplative spaces where you might, you know, have the rest and relaxation in your lunch hour. And what we've done is we've actually benchmarked it against other cities around the world. The urban park that's closest in scale to the one we've de designed for Christchurch is Hyde Park, Sydney. And that really gives a good feel and flavour about what it's like to walk through the space, how it's very accessible, and it also allows for places of activity and socialisation inside the city centre. One of the key elements that we're putting in as an attraction or a magnet into the city is this new, uh, is a new urban kind of youth playground, if you like, and it'll be attractive to all ages, but it's not just a playground that you might find out in the suburbs or in your local park or by your local school. It's actually going to be the biggest playground in southern New Zealand, if not New Zealand. This is going to bring people that are happy to drive an hour with their family into town for. That then brings you down south into what we call the city gateway. So the city gateway is absolutely a key part of the frame and it's, it's the junction between the eastern park and also the campus development in the southern areas of this L-shaped frame. Um, importantly, it's got a change of grain, so it's a bit like how you'd walk through an old city wall into a medieval town. For us, it's about, you know, finer grain, small lanes, bars, rooftop gardens, you know, um, courtyards, and a very sort of urban, finer grain feel to it. Um, this is also connecting with the uses of the CPIT down in the south and also the traditional high street. In, in this city gateway area, we've got, you know, the remaining kind of remnant building parts from heritage building stock. We've got Alice's Video Land. We've got a few key features which are really fundamentally going to start stimulating the type of environment and the character that we're looking for here. Um, it's an important kind of youth quarter, destination quarter. We can imagine, you know, being adjacent to the... Um, the, the Park East and the stadium, that there's opportunities for sort of before and after the game type events to happen, particularly in Park East if we have the fan zone in operation. The city gateway then leads you through to the southern portion of the frame and really this is sort of anchored fundamentally by the hospital at one end and the polytech at the other and these health and education uses um, will be supported also with the addition of the universities of the area. 
um, and businesses that want to thrive and sort of looking for sort of new enterprises um, around those sectors, so health education. The move with the frame for this plan is very, very bold. It may look very simple, but it's a highly sensitive move for the city. It's been thought through with much consideration and care, and I think what's really What's really exciting is we think we've got the mix right, we think we've got the quantum right, and we think there's a huge amount of opportunity, high value opportunity now. By this new frame creating a new park edge, we've created new value and amenity to streets like Manchester Street that have something to overlook, you know, nice green space to overlook now, but also to tie back into some of the existing things that the city has to offer.